Welcome to Not A Roofer's Podcast, where we discuss roofing without all the jargon. I'm Brianna. And I'm Charity. And this is today's episode. Welcome back to another episode of Not A Roofer's Podcast. Well, today we are going to discuss curbs. And it's it's not quite like the curbs on the side of the road. They not the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's a case that could be made to say that they're similar somehow. Someone will do it. Anyway, we will get into our definition. A curb is a noun, and it is a raised frame used to mount mechanical units on a roof. So there's your definition. Pretty simple. One of the more simpler terms or definitions we've gotten. Yeah. Rough curbs were not always a thing. They uh, did not always put rough curbs on roofs. That is a, I'm, I'm going to say newer, but not like newer, newer. I don't have a year for you of when they started, but they started doing it because when, a um, little bit of history, when, uh, builders were building the roof, they would just leave large holes in the roof for all of these equipment, and they never measured. So they would just leave these really big holes for the equipment, um, (laughs) and then, like, piece together wood to, like, fit into the gaps around it, and then pray that it doesn't leak. That sounds like a really bad system. (laughs) Yeah. So uh, roof roof curbs were created to help that a little bit as like an extra layer of protection so that um, leaking didn't happen as much. So that things fit properly on a roof. Wow. Okay. It'd be like if I attempted to build a parking lot for my car and I didn't know how big my car was and I didn't want to measure and I kind of just like modge podge the yes, top. I feel like it's just it's not a good system. No. It's actually a really bad system. So to make it worse, as far as I know, that's what builders still do. Ooh, okay, well. Hence the rough curb to help with protection of that we talked about flashing a few episodes back and the roof curb is an extra layer of like protective flashing so ultimately a curb is a metal structure um looks kind of like a metal box with a hole in the middle i'm actually gonna say a metal frame because of the hole in the middle oh true okay so it's like a it's like a big metal picture frame for your roof like you're framing all of your equipment you're framing (laughs) your ventilators your fans your air conditioning units it's just you're putting a picture frame around it yeah and so it gets put on and then your equipment gets put in it and then of course around the curb flashing is put which you talked about not too long ago um and it's a way to just you know hopefully fingers crossed avoid leaking around the protruding structures in your roof because let's face it um when you have something protruding from your roof like that's a a, it's an actual hole in your roof that you filled with something and it's likely that um you're going to find that it'll leak if it's not properly protected which is where the curb and the flashing and all of that happens even though curbs are meant to help avoid leaks around the areas. One of the things to know about curbs is that they must be properly installed, which includes having the proper flashings that are put in properly. Of course, we talked about that not too long ago and flashings themselves have their own problems. Um, The product needs to be high quality. So in all of the stuff that I looked at, there are a couple different ways that curbs can be put on a roof. One is by 
professionals and another is by just buying a standard curb from like not a roofing store and it's just a standard size so you won't actually know if it's the right size um and so you want to make sure that the product that you're getting was made for your type of building and project because here's the other thing a curb could be made for a residential home but it's not going to be right for a commercial building. No, which is why you hire someone <laughs> to do your roofing, maintenance, and uh, installations. Anything related to curbs. Just hire a professional. Yeah. Hire those professionals. You don't want to be second-guessing this. Like, I everything that I looked at is if these things are incorrectly installed like not only are you putting your roof and everything else at risk but like if you get the wrong size and you get one that's too big and you're like oh I think that's in there and all of a sudden you like watch your air conditioner just like fall through the ceiling that sounds horrible well okay so I have a few thoughts about that one why is your air conditioner on the ceiling (laughs) no 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 like in a commercial building setting they have like the the big industrial air conditioners that curbs are used for to like put in those go on the ceiling of the building well they go on the like top roof yeah so no, all of a ours sudden it's... Down here are all on the side of the buildings like you oh, walk God. around the buildings and they're like on the i mean i'm sure there's probably some that are on the roofs but like they're just yeah. like i just so, see them on the side of our buildings so all of a sudden you have this giant air conditioning unit that comes crashing down from your roof and through your ceiling and like yikes or, like, think about skylights. They're made of glass. If they're not put in properly and all of a sudden they get loose and then they come crashing down, like, it just sounds horrible. Very unlikely, to be fair. Like, I feel like it would be rare with a skylight because the skylight have built-in flashing. They do. But so, like, you have a properly. If I mean, if you properly, cut the hole too big, then yeah. Just hire a professional. Like, it will save you. Like, I know it seems expensive to hire someone to do that for you. Um, but it will save you money if it if if you install it incorrectly and then have to hire someone to fix it. You could have just hired someone to, fi- like, do it from the beginning. It will save you time and money. You won't have to be the one climbing up on a roof. Now I get it. There are those DIY people out there, but I'm one of them. <laughs> If every like everything I've looked at about roofing, I'm like, I'm probably capable of learning. Okay, I know that it is possible to go out and buy the material. I think Menards, Home Depot, like sell some of the stuff that you would need to, you know, do your own roof or whatever. And while I get it, like it sounds like it will save you money. I just think about it, and I have a lot of other things in my life that I would rather be doing than being on top of a roof. Except you actually go on the roofs. I, I'm i meaning like at my own house. In your free time. You go in onto the roof for work, but like in your free time, you don't want to I be don't, on the roofs. I don't want to be. Um, and maybe that's just me, but there's also the, I'm the type of person who I'll think about what I can do myself and DIY. And if I can like realistically do it without it horribly turning out I'll be like okay I'll try that but there are some things I won't DIY my roof I won't DIY my car I won't DIY like no we have a little cover for that um however the one of my favorite favorite like pictures or quotes or whatever is (laughs) oh this item costs thirty dollars cool oh I can make it for 150 myself I'm gonna do that Let's think about that for a second. Like, are you really going to do that, though? Like, and, and I know we just got a little off topic, but I think it's important to note, particularly with this, like, one of the problems with curbs is that people think that they can go out and they can get it themselves. But if you don't know the proper sizing and the proper material to be looking at, I mean, there is a huge potential to hurt yourself in the long run. Yes. So... Definition for curb. Uh, I mean, I kind of like the definition. Like, I mean, honestly, I feel like it it has everything. That raised frame used to mount mechanical units on the roof. Like, self-explanatory. Says what it does. Where it is. 
I like it. Yeah, we'll keep it as is. I I like when definitions are actually tell you what it is. Exactly what they need to be. No, if only all definitions could be that way. Or, you know, my favorite, when the definition actually uses the term in it. (laughs) (laughs) No, thank you. No, thank you. So, that brings us to the end of today's episode. We know it's a little bit shorter, but again, just a little bit of riffing information to have you learn that one new thing today. If you have any questions, concerns, um, requests, terms that you'd like us to discuss, um, email at us at marketing at riffmedics.com or Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. We'll respond on any of those sites as well. And you have a great day. Till next time. Bye. That brings us to the end of today's episode. If you've been loving what you're hearing, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified anytime we post a new episode. Episodes come out on Monday and Fridays. Please feel free to share this podcast with a friend. We'd love everybody to be able to join us and learn more about the roofing industry as we go along on this journey. If you don't already, follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. I will put all of our information down in the show notes below feel free to contact us with any questions or any any riffing ideas that you would love for us to talk about i hope you have a great day and we will see you next time